Shout out to G-Man Boxing. Where's the piss bottle? It's over there. All right, quick post-fight thoughts to Filip Hergovic versus Marcos. Marco Radonic. Um, bizarre. A little scrap, but fun to watch. Hergovic. Well, I'll talk about Radonic first. Radonic went into this fight 22-0 with 22 knockouts. On paper, looks pretty good, doesn't it? You know, 100% knockout ratio. You know, unbeaten. But in reality, when you actually look at his box wreck and you look at the guys he's fought, you realise... Why he's 22 and all, 22 knockouts. He is beaten literally nobody. I mean, there were journeymen that whose name you recognize, and even these journeymen, I was like, who the hell are these guys? And in the ring, his record, his padded record became very apparent. I mean, he looked as crude as he looked like another Christopher Lovejoy, slightly better. Uh, someone who just you got to wonder how he even got 22 knockouts when you see how crude he is because. I mean, he was swinging and missing a lot with Hergovic. When Hergovic put him on the back foot, he looked lost at sea. And all he could do was just try and swing a left hand and hope it would land. And obviously, Hergovic was able to telegraph the punch every single time. Hergovic was... Um, Hergovic had a bit of a look in the first round. Didn't really do a great deal in the first. It was really the second round where he dropped Radonich four times. Now, they didn't look devastatingly heavy the shots that were landing saying that i was on the receiving end i don't know philip Hurd, which does strike me as quite a heavy-handed fighter but radonich from the first knockdown went down and i actually thought he was going to sit the count out he had that look you know that look where you see you have to see a fighter where it looks like enough's enough i'll stay for 10 now the referee i believe was from germany actually i think it was from the referee he was from and in you know germany east europe referees tend to be a bit more how do I describe it? They tend to let things go a lot more than the UK judges. So basically, Radonich was up at like nine and three and quarters. UK referees would just say, eh, eh, you're not fighting. That's a 10 count. This referee let it keep going. And, you know, he went down again. And, and normally, again, you just see so many British shows when journeyman, and I know he's not officially a journeyman, but, you know, when you see a fighter go down a second time, and it, it, they don't want any more. The referees tend to just wave it. This referee didn't do that. Let him go. Went down a third time, and I expected him. Hey, he's going to wave it off. No, no, no. Got back up. Let him go again. Then with, like, ten, less than 10 seconds to go, went down a fourth time. I think the fourth one was a body shot, and he, was, he went down hard enough in, in the corner. Like he kind of fell into the ropes uh, from the body shot. I think it was a body shot. Anyway, and referee again. No, counted to whatever. And that was that. Now, at that stage, I expected the corner to throw in the towel. But no, um, they sent Radonich out for the third round. He was... he uh, Look, he was showboating a bit in there with his hands down. And I like to see that sometimes, you know, when a fighter showboating. But he was showboating while Philip Herbert was in punching range. Serious punching range. I was like, mate... If you want to showboat, at least showboat when your opponent's not in range to hit you. Because if you want to showboat with your hands down in front of Philip Hurkovich while you're in punching range, well, that's, you know, if you get knocked out badly, it's your own fault. He didn't. He didn't. But it was it was weird. He went down again in that round. And I genuinely, that was the fifth knockdown. I thought referee was going to call it then and there. But he didn't. And, you know, Radonich saw out the, the third round. And then the fourth round started... The corner, one of the corner men didn't leave. And I think the referee knew at that stage they don't want to, they don't, the corner probably didn't want to pull Radonich out. So he was just like, you know what, what's the point? And just waved it off. Bit of a bizarre performance, bit, well, bit of a bizarre fight, to tell you the truth. But it was, it was one of those fights that was in some strange way entertaining. Radonich entertained me, you know, and I like watching Philip Hergovich fight. So, there's that. Filip Hergovic, I can't really assess his performance because he wasn't in there with much. I wonder will they make him... Because believe you me, someone might say, gee, they can't make Hergovic mandatory based upon that opponent. Well, no one in the top 10 is really willing to fight Filip Hergovic in the IBF. He can't get a final eliminator because no one wants to fight him. Michael Hunter doesn't want to fight him. You know, just to name a few. It's like, well, what can he do? So, if I'm the IBF, if, no one, if none of my top 10 want to fight this guy for the, the, the mandatory spot, why don't you just give it to him? Why don't you just make up a ranking and say, do you know what, Radonich was 15th, just say that, we had him ranked 15th, there you go, there's your man, there's, you know, Hergovic number one. The, if no one's willing to fight Hergovic, shouldn't he just inherit the mandatory? 
you know a little people in the comment section to work that one out uh, but look I can't really assess I'd like to see Hergovic step up you know to a bigger level than this because although on paper he was undefeated for Donic 22 and 0 22 knockouts it's apparent who who he was fighting he wasn't fighting anybody and his skill level was just non-existent in there so it was a fun little scrap I have to say but um I'd like to see them step Hergovic up you know I really would um I'd love to see him in there with maybe the Hellenius Kalnaki winner if they could get that you know, there's surely even Marius Vax, someone like that, you know, at this stage, I think Fergus should be fighting those guys, but this was the fight we had tonight, it was a good laugh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section, what are your thoughts on this fight, Um, I don't know if the Yoka fight's already started, or if it's, we have to wait on that, but I'm going to cover that if I can catch it, for the last and lashes, I'll talk to you, smash the like button if you enjoyed it, peace.